Matthew, Jesus' words continued. Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. Why trouble ye the woman, for she has wrought a good work upon me? For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she has poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman hath done be told for a memorial of her. Go into the city to such a man, and say unto him, The master saith, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. Verily I say unto you, That one of you shall betray me. He that dippeth his hand with me in, this, in the dish, the same shall betray me. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. Thou hast said, Take, eat, this is my body, drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. All ye shall be offended because of me this night, for it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Sit ye here, while I go and pray yonder. My soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here, and watch with me. O oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me, nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. What could, <clears throat> what could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. O oh, my Father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. Sleep on now, and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be gone. Behold, he is at hand that doeth betray me. Friend, wherefore art thou come? Put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Thinkest thou that, that I cannot... Now pray to my Father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels. But how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled, that thus it must be? Are ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves for to take me? I sat daily with you teaching in the temple, and ye laid no hold on me. But all this was done, that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Thou hast said, Nevertheless, I say unto you, Hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming in the clouds of heaven. Before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Thou sayest, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? All hail, be not afraid, go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Mark, Jesus' words continued, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. Hold thy peace, and come out of him. Let us go into the into the next towns, that I may preach there also, for therefore came I forth. I will be thou clean, 
see thou say nothing to any man, but go thy way, shew thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Why reason ye these things in your hearts? Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, and take up thy bed, and walk? But that ye may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Can the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them, and then shall they fast in those days. No man also soweth a piece of new cloth on an old garment, else the new piece that filled it up taketh away from the old, and the rent is made worse. And no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine doeth burst the bottles, and the wine is spilled. And the bottles will be marred, but new wine must be put into new bottles. Have ye never read what David did when he had need and was hungered, he and they that were with him? How he went into the house of God in the days of Abathar the high priest, and did eat the shoe bread, which is not lawful to eat, but for the priests, and gave also to them which were with him? The Sabbath was made for man, and not man for the Sabbath. Therefore the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. Stand forth. Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days, or to do evil, to save life, or to kill? Stretch forth thine hands. How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but has an end. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Verily I say unto you, All sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. Who is my mother or my brethren? Behold, my mother and my brethren. For whosoever shall do the will of God, the same as my brother and my sister and mother. Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow, and it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. And some fell on stony ground, where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up, because it had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, it was scorched, and because it had no root, it withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. And other fell on good ground, and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased, and brought forth some thirty, and some sixty, and some an hundred. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted, and their sins should be forgiven them. Know ye not this parable, and how then will ye know all parables? The sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside, where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately, and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who when they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness, and have no root in themselves, and so endure, but for a time afterward, when affliction or persecution ariseth for the word's sake, Immediately they are offended. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word and the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things, entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it, and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some an hundred. Is a candle brought to be put under a bushel or under a bed, and not to be set on a candlestick? For there is nothing hid which shall not be manifested, neither was anything kept secret, but that it should come abroad. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. Take heed what ye hear, with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you, and unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that hath to him shall be given, and he that hath not from him shall be taken even that which he hath. So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, and should sleep and rise night and day, and the seed 
should spring and grow up, he knoweth not how. For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he putteth in the sickle, because the harvest is come. Whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God, or with what comparison shall we compare it? It is like a grain of mustard seed, which, when it is sown in the earth, is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. But when it is sown, it groweth up and becometh greater than all herbs, and shooteth out great branches, so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. Let us pass over unto the other side. Peace be still, why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? Matthew, Jesus' words continued. Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Passover, and the Son of Man is betrayed to be crucified. 